Welcome back to the 2021 King Films College Football Predictions video. Today we are going to be naming the Power 5 Conference winners, the college football playoff teams, and I will be making my predictions for the Heisman finalists. Let's get started with the conference winners in the Power 5. And we're going to start in the SEC where I have Alabama winning it. I see Georgia coming in a close second and going to another title game. Florida has just too much to replace on the other end. LSU should be a contender and this should be a good SEC this year, but I am going to have Alabama winning it. While they lost a couple key pieces, some wide receivers and Mac Jones, Alabama always has a strong recruiting class and a strong team and they have good coaching. So I'm going to have them winning the SEC over Georgia in the championship game. In the Pac-12, I'm going to have USC in a shocker, while Oregon and Washington are the two lead favorites. Someone from the South does have to make the championship game, and I do have that being USC, and I have them winning the Pac-12. Of course, the game is skewed slightly to the South this year in Las Vegas, I believe, so I think USC can have the advantage there and take that game for the championship. Moving on to another Power 5 conference, the Big Ten. I've got Ohio State winning. A another team that has to replace a few pieces, but, but Ryan Day is a great coach, and they have a strong recruiting class, so I think that they can win the Big Ten this year. Penn State and Michigan are coming off some rough seasons, and in the West, you know, Northwestern was kind of an aberration last year. I don't think they can repeat with a great performance, and even then, Ohio State did end up taking the conference. Uh, Wisconsin is the favorite right now out of the West, but I'm going to have Ohio State winning the Big Ten. In the ACC, I'm going to have Clemson winning. Of course, they've got their new quarterback who was featured in a couple games last year. He posted great stats, and I think that this Clemson team is in good hands. One spot for trouble, not necessarily for their ACC hopes, but for their college football playoff hopes lie in that early season game against Georgia, an always good team. But I do see Clemson winning that game and probably running the table in the ACC to end up in the college football playoff. In the Big 12, I have another shocker, and I'm going to have the Texas Longhorns winning. While Oklahoma is the favorite, I see Texas being able to at least win the Big 12 final against Oklahoma, what they do in the Red River rivalry, I'm not sure, but I do have Texas winning that game and putting themselves at the top of the Big 12 once again. Now a notable group of five contender is Cincinnati. I have them winning the American and being the best ranked team. Cincinnati again has a road to the playoff. They return a lot of key pieces from their great season last year. They have key road games against Indiana and Notre Dame, so if they can run the table, as they also have some key American Conference games at home, they might have a path to the playoff if they can gain some media notoriety as they started to do last year. Moving on to my college football playoff predictions, I'm going to have Alabama at the one seed. As I mentioned before, they just have a great strength of schedule, and I see them being able to run the table. If they don't and they drop a match, it will probably be to a very good SEC team. So I think the committee will excuse it. And in second place, I'm going to have Clemson here. I see them being able to either run the table or have the one loss to Georgia. Georgia last year was one of the top defensive teams, but when they played good opposition, that being Florida and Alabama, they imploded on defense and gave up a ton of points and yards. So I see that happening to Georgia again this year against Clemson and Alabama, respectively, uh, in the title game there. So I see Georgia imploding and Clemson being able to run the table. Also a note about the ACC Coastal. It has had eight different winners since its inception, and there's only seven different teams in the division since Notre Dame was able to win last year. So this will be the first time that there will be a repeat champion in the ACC Coastal. Next up, in fourth, I'm going to have Texas in here. Maybe they have one loss, maybe no losses. Uh, possibly the first two-loss team in here, but 
I have Texas getting to the playoff here. They have a manageable schedule out of conference games against Louisiana, Arkansas, and Rice. So I see them being able to either run the table or only have one loss and then take that Big 12 championship game to squeeze them into the playoff. Over the fifth team, who I see as USC here. USC has a difficult schedule. If they can run the table, they'll surely be in the playoff, but I don't think they can. they are three out-of-conference games, San Jose State, Notre Dame, and BYU. Those are all tough games. San Jose State returns all of their players. And a quick shout-out to the Mountain West, which should be a great conference this year. San Jose State, Nevada, and SDSU in that coastal division there should be a great battle and then we've obviously got boise state air force and colorado state in the mountain division all are going to be fighting for it with some key out of conference games the mountain west should be a great conference to watch this year but that being said i still have cincinnati being the top ranked group of five team but they will not be sixth in this college football playoff rankings instead i'm going to have oklahoma i think oklahoma will just have Maybe the one loss to Texas in the Big 12 championship game. So you may be asking why they aren't fifth. And that is just because of their inferior strength of schedule. You know, they play Nebraska, Western Carolina, and Tulane in their out-of-conference. So that's not necessarily the strongest. Uh, Iowa State is a key contender in the Big 12. But besides that, I'm not really sure about any other team besides Texas, Oklahoma, and Iowa State. So I'm not sure if they're strength of schedule will be up to par even if they have one loss uh, to try and force two Big 12 teams into the playoffs. Say uh, their only loss was one to Texas in the championship game, but they beat Texas earlier. I still have them going down to sixth like this. So in the Heisman finalist predictions, I'm going to start with Spencer Rattler of Oklahoma, and I just... I'm going to have it for the sake of these preseason predictions and being right. I'm not going to have the sneaky wide receiver. I'm going to have three quarterbacks. The first being Spencer Rattler of the Oklahoma Sooners. And the second is going to be DJ Uyengalele out of Clemson. Posted great stats last year. I think he's going to be able to lead them to a college football playoff appearance this year. Possibly even run the table in the regular season. I think that will be enough to send him to New York for the finals. And finally, I'm going to have Casey Thompson from Texas. I'm very high on this young stud. Uh, He played great against Colorado in that bowl game in the second half after Sam Ellinger got injured. And this is the sole reason I have Texas making the playoff is because of how great this guy did in that bowl game. I know Colorado's defense was suspect and the Pac-12 wasn't really good but Colorado was a ranked team there and Texas just dismantled them uh, with this young star and he's still trying to win the QB job for good but I think he will and you know pretty much my whole prediction rides on this uh, that he will in fact be a great player for Texas this year and even better than Spencer Rottler and possibly win himself a Heisman but those are my three finalists Please stay tuned next week for some over-unders for college football. And then the week after, I will have my week zero betting locks and game predictions. Thank you for watching.